For Krima Media's Polity, I'm Sane Lamini. Sison Gemsimang discusses a book titled The Resurrection of Winnie Mandela. The struggle icon Winnie Mandela lived in the shadow of her husband Nelson Mandela despite her personal suffering and her contribution in the fight against apartheid. What sparked your interest in Mama Win? So I had been interested in her for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there was uh, a few years ago mm -hmm. I started to write about her mm -hmm. um, because as she got older mm -hmm. I started to think this is someone we haven't really appreciated mm -hmm. uh, given her stature mm -hmm. and how many people love her mm -hmm. given all the things she's done mm -hmm. I started to pay a bit more attention to her so I had been writing a few things about her but of course when she passed away mm -hmm. the response was mm -hmm. so overwhelming by the country mm -hmm. um, there was such a clear division mm -hmm. many many people who were supportive of her and sending messages of love mm -hmm. and then a large number of people who were on the complete opposite end of the spectrum and of course as a writer what you're always interested in is extremes mm -hmm. and so I wanted to write about mm -hmm. how it was that one figure mm -hmm. could um, channel such very different responses. Yeah. There are a number of books written about her. What do you think is your book's unique contribution? So um, one of the wonderful gifts she gave us is mm -hmm. that she wrote about herself and her own life, mm -hmm. uh, which is very important. Mm -hmm. But of course, someone writing about themselves is different from uh, a sort of um, an analysis that comes from a distance. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, uh, we, I, we call this book a biography of survival mm -hmm. rather than a biography of Winnie Mandela. So it's really um, about her political meaning in this country more so than a mm -hmm. you know s standard mm -hmm. um, narrative of just her life. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I was interested in her. I was interested because of what she means to so many people mm -hmm. is so different depending on your race, mm -hmm. depending on your age mm -hmm. and the generation you, you grew up in, um, depending on how radical you are mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to explore that issue. Mm -hmm. Winnie Mandela's death on the 2nd of April 2018 unleashed a hailstorm of opinion about her. How do you interpret all the politics and contestation around the memory of Mama Win? So she, the politics and the contestation around her memory uh, are precisely why I wanted to write this book and it's precisely what I wrote about. Mm. Um, so in, in many ways, as I've said, if you're a man, mm -hmm. you have particular views mm -hmm. uh, about her. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman, you tend to have other views. So, so that her, her polarizing nature mm -hmm. is precisely why it's important to think about women like Winnie Mandela. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's a very modern figure. She's a figure who um, young people can relate to. Mm -hmm. Even today, yeah. you see how popular she is mm -hmm. amongst young people. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to explore what was it about her life, the way she lived it back then, mm -hmm. that still today has such a resonance with young people. Mm -hmm. um, and I think very much it was the fact that she just was so unbowed. Mm -hmm. She was a person who just never wavered in her commitment to the struggle and refused to live life on the terms that were given to her by other people. Mm -hmm. And that can be a difficult person to like, mm. um, but an impossible person to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> you argue that any violence that Winnie Mandela was involved in, like that of the men she fought alongside, a function of political views rather than a descent into madness. Can you elaborate on this insight? She was treated mm -hmm. differently, in part because of her relationship with Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. because she... Um, meant more in that sense mm. and because her relationship to Nelson Mandela was one of being a secondary a wife mm. so a wife is supposed to behave mm. <laughs> and so we can have Har Harry Guala in KZN mm. doing a lot of uh, uh, very involved in a very violent mm. uh, uh, battle mm. uh, and it, when you look at his obituary it really didn't reflect any negative uh, comments about him mm -hmm. and then you can look at uh, Winnie Mandela and in her lifetime yeah. the response to things she said which many others in her party mm -hmm. also said at the same time mm -hmm. so she certainly was it was a double standard both because she was a woman but mm -hmm. also because she was a wife mm -hmm. and a wife has a particular meaning to a certain kind of African man mm -hmm.
through your book, it feels like you were also trying to restore the dignity of all women, not just Winnie Mandela. Is that a fair judgment? I think that's true. Mm -hmm. I, what, because what, what, in some ways, if you think about, um, if you think about the most, the work of a writer is to take the most difficult subject. Mm -hmm. And if we can restore dignity and get people to understand fully the life of the most difficult subject, mm -hmm. then that makes it easier for all the rest of us. Exactly. So then for every other woman, for mm -hmm. every other person who is complex, mm -hmm. regardless of whether they're black, white or whatever, mm -hmm. it makes it easier for people to be able to see them more mm -hmm. fully. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's, again, that's why I'm drawn to her, but that's certainly part of the project. I think a lot of things were said and done to her in mm -hmm. her lifetime that ought not to have happened mm -hmm. and that would not have happened if she were a man. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I wanted to, to, to put her in a fuller light. How would you like her to be remembered? I think I would like her to be remembered um, as a politician in her own right. And I think I would like her to be remembered as a person who fought in very complicated times mm. and stood for um, and stood for black South Africans in a way mm. that I think many many people inside the country were unable to do she was mm. just so she was just so forthright uh, and she yeah she represented a real strength mm. um, and she inspired people. So I want her to be remembered as, as a mm. woman who inspired many others. And lastly, what else will the readers get from reading this book? So in some ways, the most important thing about this book, regardless of what you think about Winnie Mandela, is a discussion about um, justice mm -hmm. and reconciliation mm -hmm. in post-apartheid South Africa. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to pose is this question about why uh, so much hatred can still be gathered against her mm. in a country where forgiveness was the narrative that we put forward. Mm. So if anything, that's what I, I want to open up, this discussion about have we really forgiven what happened in the past? Mm. And if so, uh, why is it that some people are forgiven and others remain unforgiven? Mm. So that's, that's what I hope readers take away from the book. That was the song Simang speaking to Krima Media's Polity about a book titled The Resurrection of Winnie Mandela.